I'll make a note of that for our consultants. If there's anything else you'd like us to prepare or focus on during the call, please let me know. The future is here. You can now configure an AI agent to call and qualify new leads on your behalf 24 seven without you having to lift a finger. Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of our pipe drive training videos. Now, if you are anything like me, you hate wasting time calling dud or low quality leads. Now with CloudTalk, you can configure an AI sales development rep to automatically call new leads on your behalf so that you can focus more of your time following up with the good quality opportunities who are further along in your sales pipeline. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the AI sales development rep in CloudTalk and how to map the response to a sales CRM like Pipedrive using Zapier. Full disclosure, this video is being made in partnership with CloudTalk and CloudTalk is the top calling integration that we recommend to our Pipedrive clients. In fact, CloudTalk is the calling integration that the Pipedrive team uses internally. Before we get into how to set this system up, let me give you a demo so you can see what the finished product looks like. So here is an example of an inquiry form that I could put on my website. I've actually built this using the Pipedrive web forms feature. And you can see at the top of the form, I've actually written, um, they should expect a call from an AI agent. And I've just done that so that they're not surprised when it's an AI talking to them. So let's do that now. Submit the form. You can see there's my deal has already been created. And if I give my phone a second, I should get a call from the agent. Hello. Jarvis, an AI sales agent working with MinerCo. I'm calling together a little more information about your inquiry and I'll help you book a call with one of the consultants on our team. To get started, may I ask where you're based? Yes, hi, I'm based in Auckland, New Zealand. Thank you for letting me know you're in Auckland, New Zealand. Could you share a bit about why you decided to reach out and what specific help you're looking for with PetDrive? My team and I are new to Pipedrive. Uh, we want some help setting it up in the best way and I'd like some training for my team so that they know how to use Pipedrive properly. That sounds great. And it's definitely helpful to get things set up right from the start. How many people are on your team who will be using Pipe.Drive? We are a team of five people. Thank you for sharing that you have a team of five. Since you mentioned you're new to Pipedrive, have you already signed up for an account or are you still exploring your options? Uh, we're still exploring options, but we are pretty sure we're gonna go with Pipedrive. That's helpful to know. And it's a good idea to get guidance before fully committing. When would you and your team be available to meet with one of our consultants for a call? Uh, before the end of the week, uh, Friday morning would be great. Thank you, Friday morning sounds perfect. Just to help us understand how you found us, could you let me know how you came across Minerco online? Yeah, I saw one of Minerco's great YouTube videos and um, that's how I found you. That's wonderful to hear. And thank you for checking out our YouTube content. If you haven't already, I recommend subscribing to our channel so you can stay updated with future tips and guides. Is there anything else you'd like me to note before I book your call with a consultant for Friday morning? Uh, if you could call between 10 and 12, um, I'm free. Uh, that would be great. Thank you for letting me know your preferred time between 10 and 12 on Friday morning. I'll make a note of that for our consultant. If there's anything else you'd like us to prepare or focus on during the call, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll proceed with scheduling your consultation. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. And we look forward to speaking with you on Friday. Goodbye. There we go. I don't know about you, but I thought that was very impressive, particularly because the AI agent was um, quite dynamic, uh, you know, very conversational, depending on what I said and how I responded. It was able to comment on things that I said. So it really, it, very, very impressed with, with that demo. And so you can see straight away after that call has been completed, the deal here in Pipedrive has been updated. You can see on the left-hand side, the location and deal source, those custom fields have been set and some additional notes around the size of the team, um, time to call, 
has been put in. Actually, I can see it's missed the length of time there, which is interesting. Um, but most of the notes have come in, which is, which is looking pretty good. So I hope you like that demo. Now I'll show you some of the behind the scenes and more of the technical side in terms of how this works. And if you find this all just a bit much or you're busy working on other things in your business, then click the link in the description below to book an introductory call with our team. And we can help build a system like this personalized for you and your sales process. Now, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is sign up for an account with CloudTalk. If you use the link in our description, you'll get a $5 credit. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is configure the voice agent from your CloudTalk account. So to do that, you're gonna go down to voice agents and then the agents tab here. And this is the SDR agent that I've created. So you can click the plus button to create a new one from scratch. And in terms of how mine is set up, you can see I've given it a, a name here. And I should point out that you could have different CloudTalk agents that perform different roles. So I could have, I've got this SDR agent, but I could have a receptionist agent that just takes in sort of more general inquiries and each agent can have its own different prompt. Now, I've set up the direction of the agent. So this is an outbound agent that calls, in this case, leads when, when they come in. And you can see I've personalized the number. So what was great, you might've seen it on my phone before, but when I received that call, it came from, in my case, a local New Zealand number, which was great. And I've set the maximum call duration to be 10 minutes. You know, I mean, I don't think it's gonna go any longer than about five, but you can limit how long the agent spends on the phone with uh, a lead. And if I scroll down further, this is where you can actually fill in your prompt and you can provide all the instructions. So you can see what I've said is greet the prospect with a friendly and professional tone. And I've actually provided what they should say in the intro. So hi, I'm Jarvis. By the way, if you wonder why we use Jarvis as an agent at Mineco, um, check out my comment in the description below. So hi, I'm Jarvis. I'm an AI sales agent working with Mineco. I'm calling together a little for more information about your inquiry and I'll help you book a call with one of our consultants. I've then said, ask the following questions. And I've said ask them one at a time because when we did some testing on this, uh, the agent would ask multiple questions back to back. So I've been more specific now and I've said ask one at a time. So where are you based? Why they decided to reach out? How many people on their team? Are they new to Pipedrive? When are they available? And how they found us online? And you can see in this final question here, I've said, based on their response to question six, if they found us through YouTube, ask them to subscribe, or if they were referred by someone, ask who referred them. Further down the screen here, we do have some options for setting up call transfers if you do want to transfer to a live agent. You can also provide a prompt when to hang up. So I've said, if, if you feel the prospect is getting frustrated or wants to talk to a human, end the conversation. The last thing we wanna do is annoy people. Further down here, we've got the instructions on how to create a JSON object and send the information to Zapier. Zapier is then in charge of updating our deal in Pipedrive based on the response. And this, this is where it does get a little bit technical. Warwick, the Zapier expert on our team, set this up for me and it's great having an automation expert internally who can help. And then finally down the bottom here, you've got some choices you can make around what language to use. You can configure AI agents to, to communicate in lots of different languages, which language model to use. Uh, you can even pick the type of voice, tonality, male, female that you want to use. So you've got all that um, control here. Now, once your SDR agent is ready, you're happy with all the settings, we need a way to trigger this agent to call. Now, the way we've chosen to do that with Pipedrive and Zapier is using a custom field. So we've created a custom field on our deal called Cloud Talk Agent Call, and we've got some options here, trigger call, call queued, and call ended. So actually, if I change this to trigger call now, this would trigger the agent to call me again. And the way that works is through Zapier. So in Zapier, Zapier is a tool we use with a lot of our clients to automate parts of Pipedrive and their sales process. We've built this Zap, which you can see is triggered from that CloudTalk agent call field being updated. So quite simply, that field gets updated, which is done when the deal is created from the web form, and that triggers the Zap. In our Zap, we filter so that we're only triggering off the that that field changing. We get the phone number from the contact person and we make sure it's formatted correctly because sometimes people um, put numbers in, you know, or they miss a country code or something. So we, we format the number correctly. 
And then in step five here, what we're doing is we're posting the information from Pipedrive, so the, the formatted phone number, and actually we're passing the deal ID here, and we're posting it to this uh, CloudTalk API URL, and so we trigger the voice agent API. We've also provided the ID here of which voice agent we'd like to trigger, and you can find that ID at the top here in your CloudTalk settings. Then we actually have a, a filter where we check if the call was successful. We update the stage here to call queued, just so that internally we can see that the agent is now calling this particular deal. So that's the first part. So that's how the information um, is passed to CloudTalk and triggers this agent. Calls their phone, we have the conversation, and then when the call is finished, this is when the JSON object and all that data is shared to this Zapier URL. Now, we're just using Pipedrive and Zapier as an example here, but you could specify any other integration you want if you want to integrate with a different system. But we're saying, right, send the output from the call to this Zapier URL, and that triggers this second Zap that we've created here. This one's a bit simpler. It's simply triggered by the um, data from CloudTalk being received via the webhook URL. In step two here, we then provide the deal ID, which if you remember, we've already sent to CloudTalk when we triggered the automation. So we tell the Zap, update this particular deal, and we've said, move the deal to the contact made stage. Now, you might actually put in some conditional logic here where you say, you know, based on the output of the call, if they sound like a good lead, move them to this stage. Or you might say, if they're not a good lead, mark the deal as lost and we might automate an email or something. So we could put in some conditional logic to handle different scenarios, but we've kept it simple here. And then finally in step three, this is where we've built the note. So we've said, put in a note with the reason for calling, size of the team, length of time and next availability. And we attach that note to the deal. And so that eventuates in the deal being updated to the correct stage and the note coming in. And so with all that done, the deal gets updated and moved to the correct stage. Now you could take this a step further by perhaps adding an action to your Zap where you send a Google or Microsoft invite to the prospect at a time that works for you. So you definitely could make this workflow even more automated if you want. I think for now we'll keep that as a manual step. Now really, this is just the beginning. You could build agents that do all sorts of things in your business. You could have a receptionist agent. You could have an agent that confirms meetings. You know, I hate when people book a call and then don't turn up. So maybe you have an agent that confirms meetings for you. You could have an agent chasing payments from customers or even an agent that screens candidates and does a mini interview for people who are applying for a job. It's really up to you. But if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. And if you'd like help building a system like this for your business, then contact us. We would love to help. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.